Anger mounts among the diaspora as Indians protest against the BBC in UK. You're with us here on The Burning Question and I'm Deepti Sachdeva. Our top focus right now is on the BBC documentary, but not just the documentary per se. Ladies and gentlemen, the story clearly has motives written all over it. There are attempts to divide the country. There are attempts to actually drive a deep wedge. There are attempts to malign the country in a big year. In a big year because India, remember, today is the president chair of the G20. Also, let's not forget there are crucial nine elections this year in 2023, building up to the big election in 2024. So there have been protests, there have been attempts to even screen this movie, this documentary, in spite of the clear directions coming in from the government. And the Prime Minister has spoken about the controversy also. The Prime Minister, making an oblique reference to the BBC documentary, says that there are attempts being made to divide the society and he says all of us all of us as citizens as the country should stay united and thwart any such attempts but the question we are asking who's listening who's wanting to provoke let's put out the entire story with the prime minister's remark also and then we debate attending the ncc officers and cadets rally in new delhi the prime minister made this statement देश को तोड़ने के कई बहाने ढूंढे जाते हैं भांति भांति की बातें निकाल करके मां भारती के संतानों के बीच में दूध में दरार करने की कोशिशें हो रही है लाख कोशिशें हो जाए Maa ke dood mein kabhi darar nahi ho sakti. This cautionary warning about external divisive forces comes at a time when the BBC docu-series continuing to be at the centre of controversy. Let me just make it very clear. We think this is a, a propaganda piece uh, designed to push a particular discredited narrative. Um, the bias, a lack of objectivity and frankly a continuing colonial mindset is blatantly visible. If anything, uh, this film or documentary is a reflection on the agency and individuals that are peddling uh, this narrative again. Uh, it makes us wonder whether um, of, about the purpose of this exercise and the agenda behind it. And frankly, we do not wish to dignify such effort. Attempts were made to play the blocked series in multiple campuses, including in the financial capital. This is the Tata Institute of Social Sciences uh, 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 University, where in uh, uh, the uh, way in uh, the screening on uh, the controversial documentary took place, and in fact, heavy security is also being deployed out here. Massive police uh, 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 security has been deployed out here to make sure that law and order remains in place. But despite of uh, Several warnings by the TISS management. The screening took place on the laptops of uh, students, and more than 200 students took part in the uh, screening that uh, took place at uh, uh, TISS premises. Uh. Can those within allow a foreign hand to divide and polarize? It's time to take a clear stand. Let's do it. So who really is trying to divide us as a society and 
are we going to be with the country or with propaganda? I think those are some very pertinent but direct questions that we'll take to our panel. Let's say good evening to Savio, who's the chief editor of the Goa Chronicle. Um, Karun Varma is an author and a political analyst, also Anirban and Syed Asad Abbas. Both are a political analyst on the show. And the first question I want to take uh, with Anirban. Anirban, so are you with India or you're with this propaganda? What do you choose? Uh, I am with India and that is why I am against the BJP. I hope that answers your question. You know, you, you obviously want to make this about the BJP, Anirban, and I do not, I do not know why Syed is uh, smiling. I think he might just have the same answer because that's exactly what you prove, that you are making this all about politics, not about the country. Syed, what would you choose? Propaganda? This is, of course, about politics. Well, I would... I'd, I'd totally, completely, holistically choose India, my motherland, and nothing beyond that. The fact of the matter, there is a saying, Deepi ji, haqeeqat chup nahi sakti chupane se, mehk ut nahi sakti kagas ke pholo se. Those who wear the wound of desh bhakti are the ones who are khokla from inside. They're completely hollow. You scratch the surface, you see the reality. Those who go gang ho about need to understand that a true patriot, a true person in nation will provide jobs. A true patriot will provide education. A true patriot will provide the best of medical health facilities, will Sayan. bring down the price of petrol. Sayan, why don't you come back to the debate? Small, small interjection, please, by your permission. I, I know you want to jump said... in, Karan. I, I know you want to jump in, but Sayad, Sayad, my question is a little different. The BBC has put out a documentary, clearly not talking about what the Supreme Court has said, not talking about the multiple SIT investigations in the case. Anirban yes. says, you know, we are with the country but against the BJP, but clearly you want to latch on to anything that even can sound anything against the BJP, not looking at the truth and the merit. Hence, being driven by the propaganda, Sayyad. Is that also your yes, position? Sir. Well, my position no. is very simple, Deepthi. The fact of the matter, what did we see in the documentary? I saw the full documentary and I can tell you hmm. a documentary raises questions on the Modi government back in the days of Gujarat 2002. It does not really question what is happening now. Are Baba, who is the BBC to raise questions? So, exactly what I'm yeah. asking you. Karan, so, Deepthi, who is the BBC the to ask questions? That's what exactly. I'm saying. No, no. My raise questions in the Supreme Court? Raise questions yes. on the SIT? Yes. Raise questions on the many investigations? Raise questions on the fact that Narendra Modi has been exonerated by the Supreme Court? Karan, is anything of this wrong? You know, these are hard facts. And when my good friend Sayyid says that Chupaya nahi ja sakta, does he mean to say BBC is the beacon of truth and our Supreme Court is not? Is that not anti-patriotic then? Are you not casting aspersions on the highest judicial forum of our country? Are you not weakening our country by casting aspersions just because of a British documentary? I mean, you cannot do a greater disservice than this to our country, sir. That means I mean, you are, and this is not about yeah. BJP. This is the government of India which has taken a stance that if you insult our judiciary, if you insult our processes, you have no business to be aired here. This All is the right. government now, of now India taking a call. When Anirban says... Answer. And more than that, you know, you Karan, more than that, the very BJP. fact that the government, the government preempted this, Sayyad, the government preempted this because of which they, you know, went for this ban slash the blocking of the links. They said there could be a law and order situation, Savio, exactly what you've seen on the campuses. There is clearly an attempt to provoke some. You know, outsiders, people who call themselves students, Savio, being flown from Kerala to the national capital... And being, you know, wanting to organize this huge screening of the documentary series, exactly what the Prime Minister today says, Sayyad, that please Deep beware, TG. there are attempts to divide the society. The so, Sayyad, why do you want to fall prey to that propaganda before I come to Savio, Sayyad, quickly? Quickly, Deepthi ji, no, uh, firstly, you know, my friend Karan has asked for, uh, you know, question my, he, he's asking me whether this is a disservice, respected hmm. sir, kindly read the constitution and also read the Supreme Court is supreme, but it's not infallible. The uh, constitution of this country allows me the permission really? to descend from the world. So basically, also, basically then, Sayyad, so this now, means uh, that, that you will pick and choose. Now, Savio, it's come to this, not. that they will pick absolutely and choose. Not. The Supreme Court also will be quoted and believed when the narrative suits them. 
allow me that is convenience no sayad how can you be making a comment like this savio from my good friend karan savio i don't need sir kids of service or disservice but from my karan sayad and yeah but you you want to believe the bbc that's the irony you don't want to listen to karan but you can be you know listening to the bbc and their their false propaganda savio not be stooges of the bjp But we will start. Okay, I'd like to make four so points, Kitty, if I'm allowed to. Don't Sayer. be a stooge of the BJP. Don't be a chump. Sayer, Sayer, allow Sayer me and question the BJP when they are doing wrong. Question Modi ji, because nobody is yeah. beyond question, sir. And let me so tell you, two, the constitution of this country two... allows me to descend with the verdict. Okay, all right. Now that you finished, my two friends, Anirban and Sayed Abbas. and while i completely disagree with your view i will hold you to your right to have that view but the most important thing in this entire discussion on the bbc documentary is just one aspect of it which is is bbc above the supreme court yes bbc within its jurisdiction within its rights as a media company chose to come into this particular story on the godra rights and give it its own twist and its own spin it's like saying any other television channel in india could run a story and victimize a particular person based on that story but we are not going to go into that story and say that the victim person is is just by media trials are you you're going to go to a court and that is why in india the supreme court has passed its judgment as far as the prime minister narendra modi is concerned now when bbc plays this program we as citizens of this country irrespective of what we think about the bbc mm. and what we think about the bjp we need to understand why are they running a program which does not contain what the supreme court has to say at all it does not contain what the sit has said so there is a malified intent so while you might dislike Absolutely. the bjp i am 100% sure you like india mm. so right now you're dealing with the issue of india why should such a documentary be made aloud when people when we've seen this before it's not the first time bbc has been is been banned mm. or stopped it happened in 1971 it happened in 1975 when indira gandhi did the same thing when she felt that the security of the country was under threat so where is the problem now you okay, see this before it's not the first time so congress anirban i, I, I think anirban must respond to that Gitti. Yeah. Yes, Anirban. What what is the problem? Yes, How is it I that am, you believe the BBC more than points. the Supreme Court? And you're right. You might have your angst against the BJP, and I'm okay with that. See, I you have, have that I right. Have three points. But for crying mm. out loud, sir, sir, is not the Supreme sir, Court the highest this? authority in the yeah, country sir. as far as any criminality Savio, Savio, please, Savio. or any cases are concerned, or is it BBC? Yeah, Savio. Go ahead, Anirban. Savio, now it's my time. Go ahead, my friend. Respond. number 1 yeah number 1 uh, if i have to if i have to choose between two b's the bbc or the bjp any day i'll choose the bbc over the bjp as far as trusting the version or narrative goes that's number 1 number 2 regarding the supreme court for uh, i think Then last no six months further, no? our honorable union law minister is continual sir just please let me complete Uh, the Can honorable you union law UK? minister is continuously attacking the Anirban supreme court in the UK. and in that are sir please let me complete sir please no no we don't have to we don't have to live here i live in india my motherland i don't need any no you don't trust you don't uh, trust the, the government yeah, you will live in india not not in the highest court of the country what do you do you obviously want to say that dissent is being crushed anirban anirban i i think it's a fair complete. question Let it's a fair complete. question anirban listen that to the question to the how is it today that you do not want to believe what the supreme court has to say about the 2002 case you know multiple times the supreme court has opined on it there have been sit the supreme court But there is a clean chit that has been given to Narendra Modi the then Gujarat chief from minister so for how long will you yeah. keep breaking this up anirban you I'll think this will question. get you Savio, votes please anirban please please let me respond you're suffering no, no. from it's a colonial hangover it's anirban. not about votes let me answer if you can tell on national television that you sir, support please, the bbc sir please let you me complete you support the supreme court savio please let me complete yes anirban the supreme court order 
Okay, the BBC is also took no, to national everything. I don't answer. listen to anti-national. Okay. Let, an anti let me answer, please. sir, let me. Okay, when don't be sorry. The let me answer. The Supreme Court, don't be sorry. Let me answer, please. Are please let me answer, Baba. Sir, you let me answer. Just a minute, sir. When you are choosing the Supreme Court no, as your you, shield, should just I let tell you me answer? when Mr. Kiran Vijayu and our, our the again Supreme and Court. our vice president, why not? What are you saying? Why should I not let you answer? Are you here to stop others' voice? Let me answer, please. Our union law minister is I'm continuously attacking the Supreme I'm Court. Did you say anything line. against him? The vice, the line. vice president. You know, you, you are obviously Anirban wanting to deflect burning. the entire issue. Keshavananda Bharati. No, Anirban. Anirban. This debate is very specifically on the fact whether you're with the country, you're with the Supreme Court, or you're against the Supreme Court. Anirban, 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 why you want to watch the documentary, no, watch it at home. Why do you want to create a tamasha and a ruckus out of this, Anirban? The, the question that everyone is, is asking. Blocking you have links. a link, watch it at home. But why See, do you want no, to create no, a false thing, narrative that, you know, thing, dissent is being crushed thing, when this is politics? No. You've exposed yourself in the very no, first you, answer you that you gave, that this is home. about the BJP, Sayat. No, so are you okay. are you asking and us to watch Sayyad, it at home? you obviously home. will are betray you, you, you are betraying your nervousness that this is against the BJP. So you will not believe the Supreme Court. You will not believe what the Supreme Court has said about the 2002 riots. But you will say that I trust the BBC more than the BJP. But this is not about the BJP. All right. Uh, it's about let me India. Uh, let me articulate my answer. It's about the government. I wish my friends, uh, Anirban Savio. Karan, to kindly give me 30 seconds. That's about it. Let me articulate my answer in all your answers together. Well, you are saying so much about SIT. You are also saying about Supreme Court judgment. Respected sirs, kindly read the observation in the judgment that how the judge called Modi a modern day Nero who chose to look the other way when the city was burning. Now, can you deny that, Savio? Okay, so now, now, you know, because you're again yeah. being selective, Abbas, Sayyad, Sayyad, I, I hate to burst your bubble, but it's important to do that. So I, I'm also just quoting from the Supreme Court judgment. You know, the Supreme Court judgment, where it said, where it said, Sayyad, listen to this before I take this back to Karan and to Savio. It said that the failure of certain officials cannot be inferred as a state-sponsored crime against the minority community. This is what the Supreme Court said. It also said allegations of criminal conspiracy at the highest level cannot be inferred by simply linking the state's failures. So do not, do not be selective, Sayyad, in the facts that you put out and when you quote the Supreme Court. Because there is a document that makes a this is the problem because then you when you when you are with propaganda, you know, you know Sayyid and Anirban, when no. when you are with propaganda, you have to quote for falsehood no, again and again, Karan. We know which channels are on. How propaganda. desperate my friend has become that he's cherry picking one statement, ignoring the pronounced judgment, cherry picking one Did statement. The the fact is deep deep deep. No, no, let me answer now. Keep I didn't speak when he was speaking. Let me heart. speak, please. I challenge you. He has, he has come Keep down to a point, Deepti, where their hatred for Prime Minister not. Modi tell is me. far greater than their love my for friend. the country. I am saying this on his face today. Your hatred for honest, Modi is more than your love for the country. That is how you But we are not surprised, Karan, because they have said that this is about Narendra Modi and the BJP, Anirban. You have confessed to that. So, you know, Anirban and Sayyad, you know, because you're talking of the 2002 riots, whenever, whenever the 1984 riots issue is raised, Savio, whenever the 84 riots issue is used, you know, it, it's spoken of. And the very fact that those who were allegedly involved in those, uh, you know, riots that we've seen during the 84 uh, year, what are we told, Anirban? That, you know, there is no court that has said anything against our leaders. So here, when you have a clean chit, Anirban, First of all, it is difficult saying, for you to believe a clean chit because it's no, no, against I Narendra Modi. It's for Narendra Modi. So you, you obviously would want to play politics with him. Let me ask the order in totality. Let me answer. 
and comes and believe, lies on national television, no, no, I which is his that habit Mr. anyway, Narendra Modi to come and lie on national one of the tallest leaders to today. sit with his set of friends Shavio, and talk Shavio, rubbish. I think it was my time, Savio, please. So, what? Wh I mean, how, how does it help you if, you know, if you have okay. BBC wanting I, to embarrass the country, Mr. but, Narendra you know, Modi. the country Did hits back respond? and say, we do not stand with this false propaganda. You should be on that side. Instead of saying that you support the BJP instead of BBC the BJP. BBC should not Anima? be allowed in India at all. No, no, let us, let us BBC choose which should side not be allowed should be in India at all. I'm Mr. saying Mr. Like, Narendra Modi is the tallest leader to the right hangover, in the entire universe. Media, then why is he so nervous and afraid of a we documentary? Are no longer slaves of the if Mr. British. Narendra Modi is such a big we leader, are no longer slaves of the he British, should not, not, he should not even done. care about this documentary. Why are his supporters so scared of this documentary? You know, Savio, Savio, why, 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 why don't you respond to that criticism? No, that is, that is raised, you know, raised by the opposition. He's Savio, they say has, 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 the BBC, has, has the BBC, has the BBC given too much, has the BJP, Savio, given too much of importance to this documentary series? Because had you not spoken about it, not banned it or blocked it, perhaps no one would have been even talking about it, Savio. very important things that we must understand in the art of communication. The first aspect of the art of communication, because you've got a mouth, because you have a camera, does not no, mean no, you have every right to say whatever you want to. That is based on lies. And that is the problem. When it is a lie, it cannot be allowed. No matter how much big that organization is, BBC has been lying because the Supreme Court no, sir, how, has cleared Narendra how come Modi. You are so, scared? so please tell BBC you and its colonial of Mr. Narendra to Modi. stay in Britain He's a super and hero. concentrate on Meghan and, and, the, and the other the colonial surveillance because the we colonial don't need them to and their okay. supporters need well, I don't not need the BBC to tell me about India. Sir, the we Supreme know who Court the colonial has told us were about the from our own country. We know who the colonial servants were. I don't need BBC to tell me that. from them. BBC can tell us about what's happening in the royal family. No, no, Anir Bhan, Anir Bhan, you know, I, I just want to draw your indulgence Sir, towards the these images that are playing out on our screens. Anir Bhan, Anir Bhan, Anir Bhan, I, I want to go full frame to these images because you say you believe the BBC more than let, let the Supreme Court of the country. Today there have been protests against the BBC in London. Anir Bhan, protests the against the BBC, BBC in, in London. If we can play out those yeah, images also on our screens. Anir Bhan, anybody can want, Anir Bhan anybody for can a moment, just look at the these images. Anybody these people have the decided to be with India. These are Indians. This no, no. is the diaspora there, protesting outside the BBC office in London. Anir Bhan. Nobody, nobody is going to define <laughs> who is with India, who is against it. No, no, nobody is going to define that. My simple question is, a yes, super we are going to define that. like Mr. Modi, why are we are going to define so that. of the BBC? We are no, going the to define that. Not going to be there. You to can want, you no, can no, to call out a falsehood does not mean that, that, that you are afraid. Nobody you know, Anir Bhan, Anir Bhan, when that question goes out to the West Bengal government, it's high-handedness and blocking people, banning a lot of stuff, even if there is a caricature. You know, I don't want to get into that debate because that current is going to be a long debate. But I want to come back to this issue at hand. The Prime Minister says that there are attempts being made to divide us. And we all must stay united. Isn't that a fair message to give, Karan? That's a statement statement. I mean, it's coming from a statesman-like approach. We must be united. Unfortunately, today, the opposition is in such shambles that they're clutching at straws. Whatever fault line they get their hands at, they try to exploit that for political gains. Alas, they don't even get political gains out of it. Such is their misery. And that is what it has come down to. Their hatred for the prime minister That's the is point. greater than their love for the Sayyad, country. what will you and gain out of this? Sayyad, what That's will what you gain? gain? Do you believe they that you will gain votes? That's their you problem. Know, That's what by I'm speaking my against okay. the BBC... Come up with a positive agenda. And their falsehoods. The don't you think that is a better stand to take than being with the propagandists right now? Deepi, Deepi, uh, one thing I greatly admire, which you said, and I appreciate also my good friend Karan, is that we must be united. There are no two ways about it. My only problem here is when um, BJP stooges like a Savio Rodriguez come and uh, shout upon us on debates and act like Hitler that's, that's on debates, that's absolutely uncouth behavior. 
people like Sayyad, Sabio, what's the point in getting first That is not right. You know exactly. Please not make it. Right, you are looking rattled. I don't appreciate that. You know, Anirban must give you that good advice. Why are you looking rattled? I, I think I'm you've been pushed into a corner by Savio and Karan. Right now, Th there's I'm no so point in name right calling now. and getting personal with anyone, please. <laughs> he called the right. anti national to Amir Bhai. You, you cannot see a mirror. Savio BJP called him anti national. Unfortunately, you cannot see a mirror. Say the boss. Anti national man himself. Grow up. Has called my friend Amir Bhai. Savio, be a man. Grow up, be a man. A person who be a man. Say it. Learn to take it as you give it out. So, Savio. Learn Raise to take it as you give it up. Not your voice. This is about India. So this is not about down, you. You need to. This is about down. India. You this is not about down. you. <laughs> I will crush more people Bobo like you when it comes Sabio. to India. You need to raise your level of Remember that. argument. Remember When it comes to India, I will crush Learn many people like you. Learn to do You are supporting Learn BBC. You are supporting so the lies. You are you. supporting the Being lies. You talk about the truth. You. you talk Try about the truth. You man. talk about the truth. You're, the stooge, no of the You're the stooge of the BBC. You're the stooge of the BBC. You are a stooge of the BBC. You are a stooge of the BBC. Admit it. Admit it. You are the stooge of the BBC. Please come. Maybe the C in Sayyid stands for BBC Corporation. Please calm down. You calm down. Have some Sulemani chai. Calm down. Have some Sulemani chai. You need shorts. Yes. Have some Sulemani chai, my friend. Have some Sulemani chai. I'm sure Bangalore has a lot of Sulemani chai. All right. Let's let's call truce. Let's call truce between Savio and Sayyad. Truce too. But you know, Nobody Sayyad, these are not the kind of debates we do at Republic, no and I'm just going to request no you to please mind that the next time you're on the show. <laughs> you know, you don't I have an answer no to a question. Anybody. Fair enough. But there's no point because in getting personal with anyone. And Sayyad, see a pattern. Karan and Savio, see a pattern. Even during uh, you know the CA protests, because we are given to yes. understand that listen, there is so much of dissent in our universities. This dissent is being crushed. But it, you know, you go out on the streets. No one has any problem with the BBC documentary being banned. A lot of people don't even know about this. So who really are these people? You know, Savio and Karan, who want us to be talking of the campus, who want to provoke, you know, the situation in the campus. And I recall what happened during uh, the CA protest also. You know, why is so is that a proper, you know, a toolkit kind of a thing, Savio? That possibly is already in work. Why is the BJP so afraid of Savio? Quickly, then Anirban. They are so nervous, you they are the so problem. jittery. Savio. The problem, the problem is very simple. I have said this time and again, that the only way that they can create discord in India is through communal lines. It's been tried and tested mm. over decades. So they have to stir the communal strife in India. So BBC's timing right now is aimed at that. We've got people. The state's going in for elections. We've got the run-up to the Lok Sabha elections happening. Hmm. We have to, we have to stay united, and that's exactly what the Prime Minister is talking about. Because there is a pattern, there is a pattern to let the minorities feel that they are in danger. Yes. The recent episode that was created to make the minorities feel in danger was hmm. the Godra riots, which was recent. However, the Supreme Court has given its version. On the role of the then Chief Minister, now Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in that riot, so that chapter is closed. And if BBC mm. was really doing a program of integrity, then they should have carried the Supreme Court's version, the SIT version. Why was that ignored? Mm. Why exactly. has BBC ignored that? Let's uh, let's even assume so, Anirban, that they wanted to do the right no, thing and tell the truth. No, Why I was answer? the Supreme Court's version okay. ignored? Mm. Why was the okay, SIT okay. ignored? Okay, and, Savio, and also Ella, the no, timing, you know. Savio, my Savio name is even Anirban. the timing. My Karan, name is why only okay. now? Why have they released this documentary series no, 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 only answer. now, Anirban? Are these, you know, valid that? questions that you must today be asking as an informed citizen? Okay. That in spite of the Supreme Court's clean shit, okay. the documentary doesn't talk okay, about it. All, why has it been released only today? What is the motive? What is the agenda? Who does this benefit? Aren't these important questions that you as an aware citizen, Anirban, should be asking? They cannot... Deepthi, they cannot stand India's success at this moment. Okay. We are the First fifth all, largest economy. Karan, Karan, the question was to me. Karan, Karan, the question was to me. Karan, the question was to me. Yes, Anir Ban. Have some Anirban, patience. Quickly, the question was to me, please. Yes. Let please me answer. Ahead. Let me answer. Yeah, yeah. 
First of all, Savio advised Syed to have Suleimani chai. I will tell him that me and my brother, we will have any tea we want. Any time we want, no BJP person is going Anirban, to define come back what to we are the going question. to bring and when and where. Anirban, oh, please come one. back to the question. We have limited time. The the question. Question. Yes, I'm answering you. I'm answering you. Chai. That's why I offered I it. Hope, I yes. hope that Sabio and Karan, I love any tea that my brother Drop. has to offer. Drop. Drop I can drink any tea you want to offer. I have no problems. Okay, Anirban. Suleimani, Anirban. Nawabi, Raja, Raja, whatever. Anirban, First don't you have all, a problem? Mr. Are you not Narendra curious Modi, about the timing Mr. of Narendra this documentary Modi. series? Why is the BBC doing this now? Answer. See, see I, believe, I believe that the BJP is the largest Chai. party in the world, according to their claim. Mr. Modi is a superhero. They should not be afraid of the BBC. Let people watch. Let Are Baba, you are not answering country. my no, question, no, no, Anirban. Anirban, you don't have an answer. Really about the lies See, because that's, that's, that's not a question you want to ask. Because if anybody asks that question, you will have a reality check. Anirban, I'm just going to give you the last five seconds if you want to attempt to even answer that. Quickly. Anirban, no I am answering. Respecting nature. I see that the BJP no, supporters are afraid of this document. They are so nervous. They are so jittery. They are so nervous and so jittery. Anirban, you are not answering my question. Anirban, you are not answering my question. They are so nervous and so jittery that they can't Baba, even allow a document. National security issues. Why are you nervous today? Why are you and Syed today getting cornered? Why should you get cornered? You should be with India. You should be with the Supreme Court. You should be with the truth rather than false propaganda. We've run out of time, but it's been a fantastic conversation with all of you gentlemen. And we'll take the tea conversation up, you know, to some other for us for some other day. I thank all of you for speaking to us on the burning question ahead. Niranjan also joins us and he's getting us our next debate. Thank you for that, Deepti. In the last uh, few weeks, there have been at least uh, three attacks on Hindu temples in Melbourne. We had uh, a very disturbing video coming today. In the past three weeks, you've seen temple walls being desecrated. Anti-India slogans painted on some of these walls, the temples, and it's become worse today. A group of Indians who were protesting peacefully against a referendum call by pro-Khalistan groups were attacked in Australia, in Melbourne. The tricolour they were waving was snatched, desecrated. Here's that video, and then we debate. On Sunday, January 29th, around 30 to 40 armed Khalistanis attacked unarmed Indians carrying the Indian flag at Federation Square in Melbourne, Australia. Watch how pro-Khalistanis with swords in their hands attacked Indians who were holding Tiranga. This attack comes after it was reported that Indian Australians were planning to organize a peaceful protest against the recent pro-Khalistani attacks. Remember, three temples were desecrated in Australia in the past one month. Taking the cognizance, the High Commission of India called these attacks a clear attempt to divide the Indian diaspora. The Victoria Palace Police, which has now swung into action, informed the two people have been arrested. But the question remains, how is Australia allowing free 